Alright, hello everybody. Hello. How are people doing today? Bupil, hello. Zamnova. J93, Vinkies. Another day, another key called. <laughs> yeah, maybe, huh? Uh, anyway. Cody Laxon, hello. One drunk man. Weasel PC, Joku Bob. Nectar KR, hello. Um, it's uh, today's stream is actually pretty simple though. It's actually not going to be a new key cult. It's just a rebuild of my own. Um, I just wanted to try out the polycarbonate plate. Yeah. So yeah, that's what um, we're going to be doing today. Um, it's going to be rebuilding one of the previous builds we've done before. Um, it's my own. Um, so yeah. How's school going? <laughs> Long story short, I'm currently not in school <laughs> or employed. Um, but we can talk about it later. I already explained it before, but basically I'm transitioning into research. Uh, it's basically what it is. Yo, if I get another Travis Scott burger ad, um, actually, uh, if you really want to circumvent ads, which I don't recommend you do, because obviously the ads support the stream, uh, but if you don't want to, actually, well, I guess ads don't support my stream. Ads support, uh, partners' streams, but I'm not sure if they support mine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, I think you block Origin. You can like update it so that it blocks. Um, ads from Twitch. Uh, I think there was an update, which is why Twitch is uh, pretty much overriding those settings. Uh, so you just need to look it up on Google, and I think you should be able to figure it out. I, I did it myself personally, but you know. <laughs> you can also get Twitch Turbo. What's Twitch Turbo? I'm actually not sure what Twitch Turbo is. Is that a, is that an extension? Oh, right, right. That's the no no pre-roll stuff, right? Yeah. Yeah, you could. You could do that, too. I just Googled Travis Scott because I've seen so many burger ads. I mean, yeah, I mean, he's he's not a burger guy necessarily, but, you know. <laughs> Mano 3D. Oh, is that in the title right now? I'm sorry if it is. It's not. There's no, uh... No, there's no Cypher Call today. There's no Cypher Call today. Okay. BRB gotta get some Mickey D's. Oh, yo, Mickey D's are so good. The Mickey D's is amazing. I mean, I love their fries personally, and and obviously, like I like um, twenty twenty piece Mac Nuggets and uh, sweet and sour and barbecue are my favorite personally. Um, but I know some other people like other stuff. I mean, I like hot sauce too on them, but yeah. Would a McDonald's employee know what I was talking about if I just said the Travis Scott meal? Maybe, you know? Yo, Vinkies. Because I block your ads <laughs> Vinkies, thank you so much for the five bucks in return for the ads that you block. I mean, time is money. So, yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> I'll say the new spicy McNuggets with the mighty hot sauce, the best thing I've had from Mickey D's in years? Really? I, I I actually do want to. I actually haven't tried a new spicy McNuggets. Do you know that? I I have a McDonald's nearby, but I haven't gone there because uh, I just haven't had the chance to. I guess I just don't pass by it uh, every day anymore. So because I've been working from home. But maybe the next time I pass by the the McDonald's, I'll I'll pick up some spicy McNuggets. I think I think it sounds sounds kind of fun. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see what's going on. Okay. So today um, I have a few things. Uh, let's start with the simpler thing. So today we have. Um, so this is actually my old um, M10C. 
I already unscrewed it uh, earlier because I was just checking what I needed to do. Uh, but basically, like, um, so these are switches that I could put in. I got a new PCB from Ramaworks. So this guy is the new M10C PCB. So this is kind of interesting. Um, I just noticed, but like, I mean, or rather I just realized that like this design, this is the M10A. Uh, so this design is back from when Drop was still called Mass Drop. So this is like vintage Mass Drop keyboard product, okay? Uh, this, this is vintage. Um, but basically, uh, what I noticed was, isn't this, it's like, look at this foresight, like these, these guys, Rama designed this, uh, this keypad thinking USB-C. Um, back in the day, they had this PCB, right? So they had this PCB, M10A PCB, with a USB micro. Um, but, but now, I got a USB-C PCB, which I haven't opened yet. Um, and it's supposed to fit in here, which was initially designed for USB micro in mind. Um, so kind of funny, but maybe they back then they thought, oh, maybe we should have a USB C, but they never did, never did it. Um, I don't know, but cool. Am I completely replacing the M6? Oh, I'm going to be using uh, one or the other. I'm actually probably going to be taking this one or the other one to work. Uh, one of these are probably gonna go to work once I go back to work. Uh, but I mean, I, I, I had this for a long time and then pretty cool or a happy accident. Yeah, I don't know. Um, so basically this guy broke like this, this stopped working at some point. Uh, like I couldn't flash, I couldn't do anything to it. Um, cause, cause it was garbage basically. Um, the PCB was garbage. Like the, like the, they did like machine industries or I don't know who, who designed this, uh, firmware but it was trash it was it was complete garbage it was, it was so bad um like it was impossible to program like it wasn't qmk or anything like that so it just didn't work um so yeah so this this is going to trash um i'll probably these out of these get get uh get black switches but you know whatever um so yeah Macro pad that's hard to program, lol. I know, right? So back in the day, they did this, like, Rama Works did this with some other company. Uh, they outsourced it to some other dudes, and they apparently did the firmware, but it was just not good. Alright, so... I just had to tear this off because of the label. But, uh... Let's see, what do we have here? We have some stickers. Oh, cool. Okay, th those are cool. Nice uh, square stickers. One of them is foil. One of them is regular. That's kind of neat. Can you sound test that keyboard? This guy? Sure. I mean, guys, if you can, you, you can just hear the the kind of like the. Yeah, so good old HHKB uh, Topri stuff. Okay, buddy, Maestro was not that long ago. <laughs> it was a while back now. It's like, what, a year? How do you think DMG on Navy would look? DMG on Navy? I think that would look okay, because I think there would be a good amount of contrast. And gray is a pretty neutral color for the mod, so that, sh that should be fine. And the pink sort of color, uh, the violet, from DMG should be okay with the, with the navy. I think they should complement each other just fine. Anyway, um, I didn't put the build part, uh, the M10 part on the on the um, build command. Um, but yeah, let's see. What are these washers? Oh yeah, so those are probably washers for the for the screws here. Attention, contents may be status sensitive.
You know, there's an easy way to know if a color if a color should work with a different color is just to check the color wheel. There's there's rules to color that uh, do apply because they're basically like how they look to the eye. Um, like you know, it's been studied by a lot of artists. All right, so we have our um, M10 PCB, M10 C PCB. Now this PCB is gonna be QMK and VIA compatible because it's designed by a Wilba. Got some pen mark here. What is that? Maybe it was QC'd. Um, and uh, yeah, just a good old. Um, this one has a stab stabilizer insert, so that's kind of cool. I'm gonna use a stab there, and it seems to have um, per per key uh, RGB. So we can test it out right now. Do you still do research with medical imaging? Yeah, I do. I do, I do. Oh, it's probably not detecting it. Oops. All right, so seems to light up, seems to show up. That's cool. Uh, I'll, I can reprogram it later. Uh, for now, it's fine. Key tester. Oh, okay, cool. We can test it. So it's a solderable PCB, not hot swap. So I still do need to test it. All right, great. It's simple. It works. No complaints. All right, cool. Um. So this just needs a stab. Uh, I would probably use. Uh, I have a stab over here, probably. Some leftover stabs from before, I think. Okay, I think these should work. Actually, maybe I'll use the other ones I have. Nice looking PCB. Yeah, it is. It is very nice looking for sure. <clears throat> okay, here's a one, literally one stab from Duroc stab from back in the day. All right, we can try this one. Yeah, this is good. Hello, Mr. Crabbag. Wait, if you're here, does that mean that uh, Apiary is done streaming? Using VIA to test PCB? Yeah, it's nice. Uh, I went on Matrix Keyboards IG and I saw, all I saw in the comments was Diego saying International GB when? Seriously though, right? They never do International Group Buys. I mean, they did it for the Matrix Noah, but like... Uh, they they haven't done it for other one other boards really like maybe like the able a long long time ago but it was not that appealing to me. I want them to do it with like the 1.2 OG with like the 2.0 ADD, uh, with like, you know, with like all these other cool boards like like all the cool shit they don't do it international. Like, isn't that gatekeeping? <laughs> Just kidding, it's not. But like. It's logistically difficult to do international buys, but I do really wish Matrix Lab did more international uh, keyboard group buys. Or at least they opened it up like for international people to like participate. Because I don't mind paying conversion fees if it means getting into the, the group buy. And also, because I hate the idea that there's these Chinese like buyers and in the, in their original group buys that buy like four, five, six units and end up flipping them in on mech market. It's just not reasonable. And it's like, if you want it, you have to pay the flip price, you know? You don't even pay like the original price, you pay the flip price. Apiary is not done? Oh, I see. So, Apiary, uh, speaking of Apiary, uh, she was super, super kind. I Earlier, uh, I was busy because I was uh, having pizza. 
um, Aimberry and um, Ono. Uh, they um, sent me some surprise pizza as a pick me up, and I do want to thank them for it. And yeah, so so I had some pizza with my roommates just earlier. Uh, just some Domino's, good old Domino's. Uh, one of them was a pepperoni pie, and the other one was a uh, Hawaiian, so like a, a ham and pineapple. How do I send you pizza? Um, you can just PM me <laughs> and be like, "What's your address? I want to send you pizza." I'll, I'll take pizza any day. <clears throat> Excuse me, any day. I love pizza. But yeah, you know, like, uh, I'm always open to, to getting pizza. Mm. Will self docs for pizza? Totally. I will, I will absolutely self docs for pizza. Everything for food, man. Gotta survive. At least I get pizza. I can't do pineapple on pizza. I know some people can't, but I don't mind it personally. I'm kind of used to it. As in like, I'm kind of used to having that, that, that style, so. I'd rather buy the board and pay import duties over paying flip price. Oh, absolutely. I agree with that too. Let's see, Noah probably shipping this month. I wanted those wacky ones with the keys on the side. Wait, what? Oh, oh, the, the matrix boards. I see. Pizza and beer? Oh, yeah. I, I actually don't know if I have beer right now, uh, but I have like other liquor. I have like whiskey. <laughs> I have soda here. Yo, Dennis Rocha, what's up, man? Just chilling today. Pizza and pizza. <laughs> <laughs> pizza and pizza is always great. I mean, this is why we got I got two pies. I have two different flavors. Pineapple on burgers? I've never had a pineapple on a burger. Have you ever had a pineapple on a burger? I've never had pineapple on a burger. Do people even do that? I've seen egg in a burger, but never pineapple in a burger. Them toper fruits? Yeah, the, this is my... Uh, crown jewel in my collection fried egg is amazing on burger oh yeah Fried egg is, I mean, fried egg in general is just like, uh. But in, in a burger or like in a melt, oh, baby. It's, in a melt, it's so good because it like melts all over that buttery goodness. Oh, yeah. So good. Grilled pineapple, hell. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Aloha burger. Oh, I see. Hmm. Mushrooms are good on burger. Yeah, mushrooms are good too. Mushrooms are great. I love mushrooms in general, like mushrooms on pizza, mushrooms on burger, mushrooms in sandwiches, mushrooms in like pasta, like I, I love mushrooms for sure. There, there's a lot of different kinds of mushrooms too that I really like, so yeah, mushrooms are great. Some people don't like mushrooms though because of the texture, which I understand. Uh, you know that some people don't like that like uh, kind of like soft and like mushy sort of texture. So Mushroom good in the trash can? Damn. Damn, okay. Alright. <laughs> That's fair. If you don't like it, then you don't like it. I like it though. I like mushroom. I, I used to not like it actually, but uh, I kind of acquired the taste over time. As I tried better foods with mushroom, I started liking it. Another key cult? <laughs> not yet, but yeah, we will be. <gasps> Mushroom chips are tasty. I've never tried mushroom chips. I'm not sure if I would like mushroom chips. I think I actually might not like the mushroom chips. You can control the texture of mushrooms by the way you cook them, not cook, or not cook them. Yeah, that makes sense too. Tried so many times, can't do it. 
It's okay. To each their own, you know? I mean, there's obviously gonna be... Shiitake mushrooms are disgusting? Excuse me? Oh my god. Savage. Shiitake is so good. What, what are you even talking about? What? Shiitake mushrooms are so good. Oh, they smell so bad raw? Cooked is okay. Oh, okay. They, they're like so good in like stews and like other things. I hate mushrooms with shiitake are good. See, people know. Yo, Rad Eats, hello. We're talking about Rad Eats. We're talking about dank food, basically. That's, that's today's topic. Dank food. We're just chilling here. Uh, doing some... Uh, doing an M10C first, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the my key called Rebuild. Kind of like the whole grain cracker, the veggie chip world. <laughs> I'm not sure about veggie chips. I, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not very keen on veggie chips. Okay, so um, the M10C today is gonna have uh, Pinocos loop with uh, two or five with films. It's very simple. 65 gram springs, just uh, kind of right in, right in the middle. Uh, but yeah, when they make the world rainbows, egg fried rice, a. Hey. Uncle Roger would agree. Egg fry rice. Hiya. <laughs> it's a weird looking key cult. No, it's M10C though. Yeah. Hiya. <laughs> you guys seen those videos, right? Uncle Roger. Never put rice in colander. So good! I love those videos, man. Uh, so funny. Oh my gosh. Cracks me up. Alright, so this M10C, I can just do it really quick. No fan, no need. It's just 10 switches. Famous last words, just 10 switches. I mean, 10 for now, and then there's 60 more on the on the key call that we're gonna build today. Uh, but I just wanna, I just wanna, I just wanna make this work. Fumes? Oh, I'm blowing on it. It's fine. So I'm, I'm blowing. I'm blowing. I'm blowing air on on top. You know, I am the fan. <laughs> Gotta get that MSG. <laughs> I must be too young to know what Uncle Roger is. Oh, just look it up on um, YouTube. Just put Uncle Roger egg fried rice. You'll you'll find all the good shit, all the good videos. Um. Looks good for the lungs. Mmm. You know? It's a rad eat for sure. Uh, wait. Can we just have those uh, little rings thingies? Oh, here they are. And then. 
It's like those Willard planned videos. Solder smoke, don't breathe this. <laughs> but MSG on flux, not bad for your lungs. Not bad, not bad. For you. <laughs> Dude. Hey, gringo, what's up, man? How you doing? Uncle Roger's hilarious. Cook, cook rice and colander. Oh my gosh. You guys saw the one where he's uh, raiding Gordon Ramsay? It's so funny. <laughs> Never seen him so happy. Talking about food is always uh, makes me very happy. So uh, food is the shit. Oh, look at that! Secret secret ingredient to fried rice: torture, <laughs> torture. <laughs> What a funny character though, seriously. It's so representative. I I lost one screw at some point in the past, maybe like years ago. So I only have three screws for the bottom, but it's fine. I might put it on the bottom instead. Probably have a replacement somewhere else though. Alright, cool. It's uh I think I should have some keycaps around here. Oh, what what kind of keycaps do you want? Just want to see on this. Um, I have a, a a custom to you artisan. It's by Prime Caps. It's like little clouds. Pretty cool. <laughs> Funny how I'm reading this with this voice. <laughs> Funzy, good morning. Change the walk. He have two walk. Oh my. <laughs> No, um, what, do you guys want to see like uh, artisans on here or something? I have a bunch of artisans I could put on this. Name a maker or name a uh, blank to match or HHKB. Well, this sounds so thawky. We could put maybe Rama caps? Bongos? I have like some blanks and stuff. I have like some blanks here. I have like some Rama caps here. We could put a bunch of different Rama caps. Hello, Marcus Neistat. Hello, hello. How's it going? Can we get a typing test on the HKB? Yeah. So today is a pretty chill stream, so uh, nothing, um, no rush to do anything, it's all personal stuff, I don't have any, there's never any pressure really, but hey, I want to just take it easy today, just relax. Wingnut or bust? I don't have a wingnut. Full gaff M10? Full gaff M10? Is that doable? I could put a cap like this in the middle. Do you guys like this keycap? Check out this keycap. It's a butthole. Check this out, check this out. Oh, Epsilon! Coming in right at the right time. Perfect timing. Oh, shit. Ah. <laughs> hey, Epsilon. Hello. 
why? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness okay hello hello everybody we can have some um let's see what we can have on here could i uh i don't know where i put it anyway not sure what we're rating, but totally worth it. <laughs> anyway, welcome, guys. Uh, we can put some blanks on this for now. Uh, maybe we can put lightning keyboards right here in the middle. Uh, maybe some black keycaps so we can do like Salvan, Ion keyboards. And then maybe we can do some geek hack and distorty because and then red reddit's the reddit's the, the 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 butthole in the middle i don't I, I don't like reddit screw reddit um then we can do like key called hhkb typing test please okay 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 uh, and then, hmm, I don't have no, I don't have any more brands. Um, I guess I can just put, uh, maybe the Mizu cap. And maybe I'll put a Moto cap, maybe? Moto, Moto cap, this one. Something like that? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, HKB typing test, please? Okay, 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 okay. Coming right up. All right. This is trash. All right. Um, HSKB typing test, though. Yeah, we can do that. We can try this. Maybe I can just. Turn on the turn off the fan here. What was it? Booty hole typing test, please. <laughs> M10C. All right, we can try. We can try this first. Let's see. Uh, let me see. Where's monkey type? Uh, I'm trying to find it. Okay, here it is. Caps lock. Why is why is caps lock activated? I have, oh. Okay, wait. I don't have caps lock, dude. All right, there we go. <clears throat> All right, so this is my uh, forty-five gram Tobre HKB Pro One. It's gonna sound a little different from all other Tobre boards because it has so many resin caps too.
not bad. Got a Hassle controller in there. Uh, damn, 126 is really high. <laughs> I actually do know that I type fastest on Topri and Linears. Now typing test with tongue. <laughs> Oops. Uncle would be proud. <laughs> anyway, you can hear the mods. The mods are not super great because of the resin. That's the HKB though. You got a Haas controller in there? Yes, I do have a Haas controller for Pro One. And it is a to uh, Toki P uh, WASD. Toki P WASD. Uh, this is Key Collective. This is Key Collective. Everything here is Key Collective except for the WASD is Toki P and the regular caps are uh, just OEM Topre. It's regular Topre. And we can do a quick typing test for my amazing um, is there a number mode for monkey type I wonder if there is because if there is we could try something like that uh, I guess eh, it's okay there's no we can just pretend like we have like we have numbers there is Wait. Wait, hold up. What is what is the is there a number only test? Let me see. Default appearance. Um theme no. I don't think so. You can do custom. Oh, I see. Five eight zero zero eight. Is that like? Do you type that in? Oh, is or, or do you like? Oh, it's in fun box. Oh. Okay, let's try. Oh my God. Okay, but there's no space, so uh, maybe I have to uh, do a two-handed thing here. Cycle. So like, wait, wait. Is this? Is I thought this was typing. Oh, it's numpad zero. Uh, I thought. Oh, it's because numlog is not on. Hold up. It's numlog. Do I have numlog program here? Hold up. Let me get the numlog off. Motorcycle mod. <laughs> uh, yeah. I just realized my thing is covering my face. Okay, numlog. Where's numlog? Come on. Uh, what the hell? Where, where the hell is numlog, man? Okay, so I guess I just have to program it on B and then put it back. Or actually, I'm just gonna program regular numero numero keys on the uh, on this thing. Should just switch to Spanish for the rest of the stream. What? Um. Can I do numlock and then there we go, and then put this back to zero? Who just? Uh, oh my God! Hello, Apiary. How are you doing? Hi, hi. Hello, hello. How's, how, what's going on? All right, cool. 
Oh, hi. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for the seven months. Pogu. Hello, hello. We're just chilling. We're about to do a number test. Uh, have you ever have you ever done this in your life? Does this work though? Hold up. Does this work? Why is it not working? Like, do I have to use um? Does it only work with um? Non, non pad. Keys. If artisans for your HKV, yeah. Wait, hold up. I don't understand. Why can't I do this on on my Rama pad? Monkey type trolling? Well, like, I should be able to do it on, like, it's like num key, it's like numpad keys don't work in the, in on the thing. It's, it's a scam. Uh, who, who just subbed? Thor, thank you so much for the tier one sub, thank you. Uh, yeah, it looks like it's only gonna take in numpad keys, oh, unless, oh, no, 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 wait, I can program these. Yes. There we go. Yeah, here we go. Let's do this. There we go. All right, now I should be able to do this. All right, cool. All right, guys. This is gonna be a... Oh, excellent. Okay, it works. Let's go. I'm a smart person. How do how how do you do this without fucking up? <laughs> ah! Redo. Okay. Go back. Ah, <laughs> clearly, I haven't worked at a cash register for a while. <laughs> When I used to work in retail, I would I would I would be able to do numpad stuff so fast. This is not this is not a this is this tests you whether you have worked a retail job where you have to put in a lot of numbers in or like a data entry job. <laughs> oh my gosh. Not too bad. Not too bad. I tried. I was consistent, okay? Not even, not even sixty nine percent. Oh man, <laughs> it's a fun test though. Um, but I mean, it sounds pretty cool though, right? Oh, that sound. KB is just sounds hollow but really nice. Well, it is hollow. There's no uh, there's no plate in this. That's why it's hollow. It's quite hollow indeed. Um, but yeah. All right. Ugh. I can unplug this guy for now because I haven't programmed it. Anyway, thank you for your patience for those who came in from Apiary Stream. Thank you so much for 
the raid apiary and i want to thank you also for the pizza earlier i really really liked it and i shared some with my roommates they are also very grateful um we are all very thankful for the generous pick me up thank you i really kind of needed it so it's, it's great um i hate that i didn't get the moto arizona with moto 2 oh i see i feel like the world would be a much better place if everyone had to do retail restaurant customer service work for at least a year in their lives oh yeah absolutely no no doubt like you would know how much it sucks to do that for people Apiary sent you pizza? Yes, she did. Uh, she and uh, Ono were super generous and sent me pizza because I'm going through some tough times. <clears throat> Alright, let's get to the actual build for today. So, after 50 minutes of fucking around, we are getting to the build. I think I missed some people's mentions probably, but here we go. Uh, did you join the Dollinger RE group by? I did not. I did not join the Dollinger uh, RE group by. Oh, okay. So we have a palm plate and a polycarb plate. I want to do it with a polycarb today. But it's my it's my key cult number 160 from last time. Except uh, I already desoldered it, uh, but I haven't taken off the switches, I believe. So we're gonna open it up, take off the switches. Sorry to hear about that. Hope you feel better soon. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, it's it's just been busy times and just a lot going on in life. Yeah. Mm. All right. So we have. Today, uh, we're basically just going to be rebuilding it the exact same way this looks. Um, the only difference is that, um, so right now there is a there's a red aluminum plate underneath here with um, some retool blacks that I lubed with uh, Tribosis 3204. Um, I had done a typing test before. Uh, I can't obviously like type type on it because it already has, uh, it already has been desoldered. But like, you know, if you listen to it, Right? Right? So this is what it sounds like. This is what aluminum plate, right? And so what I want to do is I want to rebuild it with polycarp half plate just because I want to know what it sounds like and what it feels like. Um, I would expect it would be similar to the palm plate that we built for um, uh, for the wind keyless build from a few streams ago. Um, so yeah, we're going to be trying that. Um, so I'm going to just uh, actually um, undo this case. Um, and uh, we're going to just go right into it. Alu sounds good, but half might sound even better. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm kind of curious. That's why I'm doing it today. Uh, yeah. Pizza is indeed soul food, though. Um, I have leftovers. Guys, the best part of getting a, a pie of pizza and having leftovers is that the next day, or like any time you have it, you know, like how, you know how like cold pizza, like leftover pizza tastes a little bit different from like when it's hot and like piping hot and warm and stuff but it's also good. <laughs> I don't know, it's, that's just me, but yeah. It hits different for sure. Can you? Can I send you some boba? I love boba, but I don't know where to order boba from. Maybe there's like some boba on, po on like Postmates or DoorDash or even Uber Eats, but yeah. I personally don't like getting Uber Eats because Uber Eats is actually kind of a rip off because they have like a million processing fees that I don't really like. Um, I Nowadays I get DoorDash or Postmates or Grubhub if I order anything or I just go and pick it up myself and so it's uh, better for the better for the local restaurants because you know you gotta support their business. 
Um, so. But I don't I don't order take out or or pick up a lot. Like I don't order out a lot um, because yeah, it's just expensive. So yeah. Uber Eats is pretty rough. I know that Uber Eats is rough because I have I have a few friends who actually worked for Uber Eats, as in like not uh, on like the tech side, but as as like drivers, and they know it sucks. Like, so the problem with with Uber Eats is that they have so many processing fees that customers are much less likely to tip uh, because they're already paying so much beyond the meal price on top, and therefore um, they're less likely to tip just by like probability and so like drivers obviously get shafted by that I tip all the time yeah me too I always make sure to tip as well okay so I had already desoldered this um, so we have a um, key code number one with uh, its E white top and bottom and uh, red aluminum plate in the red middle here um, so I'm just gonna take off all the switches and the keycaps. Is it yours? Wait, the keycall? Yeah, the keycall is mine. I have a burger for sale that is close to you, I think. Wait, what is this? <laughs> Half the trap is gone. Mm. Oh man, that's hilarious. That's that's uh that's gonna trigger a bunch of the viewers here because I feel like most people here have uh, been watching the stupid ads for a few <laughs> for a few streams if they've been like on Twitch uh, lately. It sucks. That's one freaking ad, yeah. Tell him Captain Jack sent you. <laughs> oh god. Like I get it, you have a like I get it, Travis, you have a meal at McDonald's. Yeah, seriously. I don't what I don't understand is why is there only that ad? I thought Twitch had a lot more ads to um to promote, you know? Like I don't I don't get it. Is it just the coding is bad on the back end of this it seems like everyone's getting the Travis Scott ad like all the time you know it really is that same one though it's better than the Gotham <laughs> true all right so maybe I can use this cloth to get some of these caps. McDonald's paid Twitch mucho dinero to run it all the time, I'm sure. If you had your own meal like Travis, what would it be? Dude, if you had, if I had my own meal at McDonald's, guys, what would you think if you had like a fucking, what if, what if you could have like an Al Pastor burrito for breakfast? Like a breakfast burrito, oh, oh, or like a breakfast burrito with chorizo, with like Mexican salsa. And some, maybe like a, some like a, oh, maybe like a, some mild kind of like, it'll be like the perfect Mexican-Korean meal for breakfast. It'll be like a, it'll be like a burrito 
with you know like you know they have like the sausage burritos right with the egg and stuff instead it'll be like chorizo and then on the side they might give you a little bit of like instead of like a pickle or something like that they'll give you like some like mild like kimchi or something that would be good that would be dank And if I ca ha could have my drink, it would be maybe like something related to like horchata or something like that. Maybe something like hella, hella Mexican. McDonald's kimchi? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Something like that. Horchata sounds so dank right now. Yeah, it's perfect for, I mean, it's perfect for the summer especially, but it actually works any time of the year. So refreshing compared to other uh, flavored drinks in my opinion. When I went to Santa Fe for a conference, I had horchata for the first time. It was so good. I miss it so much. You should definitely um, look for like Mexican restaurants around you or something. And or actually, I mean, you can even make more ch horchata at home. You know that? It's the recipe is actually uh, very easy uh, to work with. Hey, look, look it up. It's 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 surprisingly not very hard to do at home. It takes some time though because horchata is basically like a rice-based uh, beverage. You have to like put rice in like water and like you know like put like cinnamon and sugar and like a bunch of other things and then you have to like wait a long time and cool it and whatever yeah so uh but it's uh it's not a difficult recipe though uh, i mean this is why it's a popular drink uh, but you should look it up it's it's actually not too hard homemade horchata yeah homemade horchata is actually not very hard to do I mean, if you're already grocery shopping to cook at home, maybe you could uh, add that to the list. It should not be very expensive to make. I mean, of course they have like um, pre-made uh, powders and like whatnot, but homemade stuff is always good. So give it a shot. My McDonald's meal would be a salad container of half chicken McNuggets and half pickles tossed in Chipotle Texas ranch and french fries. Man, that sounds hella unhealthy, but oof. <laughs> it sounds unhealthy and good at the same time because it's kind of like, man, it's kind of, it's kind of packed with a bunch of, bunch of stuff. I'm not sure if I'm all about it, but maybe once every, once every decadent blue moon, you know? <laughs> Anytime I feel like having a very decadent meal, maybe I could I could sign up for something like that. It's gotta be like fried chicken though. Oh wait, wait you said chicken McNuggets, that's basically the same thing. Actually no, that's basically like fried flour, but anyway. Once every blue moon while drinking a blue moon. That's right. Oh, I forgot to remove these. Cool. Well the good news is I don't have to um redo the stabs I think I'll just touch them up later if I have to but I don't think I have to redo them uh, we can check them now but I don't think I have to it sounded fine earlier yeah that sounds okay Enter key. That's fine. I think that's okay. Nice beal. <laughs> Thank you. Are all HHKB boards made with topper switches? Uh, yeah, uh, you can do MX HHKB, but those are like MX customs, like custom keyboards. Uh, so there's MX, like MX switch, uh, I mean, HHKB style MX custom keyboards. Uh, you can you can get those. Like there's like tofus with that layout, so. 
But they're not the same because uh, regular HHKB has a 6 use space bar. Um, and this is like this side is longer than this side and whatnot. But yeah. But yeah, uh, like original HHKBs, yeah, they're all Topre. So real force and HHKB, that's it's all Topre. Is there a difference benefit of Topre to MX? Uh, they're just completely different style of switches. So it would be a preference of you liking those switches better. And also Topre comes, it's like a, it's like an off the shelf keyboard. Whereas MX keyboards, I mean, you can also get them off the shelf, but like uh, a lot, you, you, there's a lot more customization available for MX, where there are, whereas uh, Topre at, at most, you can just lube the housings. And then even custom keycaps for Topre is not very widely available. So yeah. Is that a pro one? Yeah, it is a pro one. I, I'll let you know that I love Tobre. Well, I love HHKBs in particular. I, I own a good number of them. Um, it, it was my first love in keyboards. I, 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 I first, the first thing I bought as I, as when I entered the community was an HHKB. Is it, is that just because they're more compact and symmetrical? Like why I like them? Yeah. Topra do have some different spring weights too, don't they? Yes. This is 45 gram. So the, the gram, uh, the grams that measure Topra switches, they're actuation grams. So it's 45 gram for actuation. So that means the bottom out is like, maybe like 65, 60, I don't know, 70. And then, and then um, 55 gram Topra is like significantly heavier. It's probably gonna be like maybe like 80, 85 gram for bottom out. So it's quite heavy. I went from having f four Topra boards to zero and I regret. The good thing about not having a Topri board for a while and then getting one again is that you can always get one again, you know? Like it's it's way more widely available and easily accessible. So I like it's 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 pretty good. Yeah, the new pro hybrid HHKBs are super super nice. Uh like if I recommended anybody to get a new HHKB right now, I just get the new ones. They're they're awesome. Um they pretty much have everything now, like a lot of them offer like programmability right out of the box and like you don't need a Hasu controller anymore like there's Bluetooth there's there's just so many options now and like um, they're cleaner they look cleaner um, and um, what else yeah it's just nicer overall You all know if the Tokyo 60 that's available on drop made with Topers or MX. Uh, Tokyo 60 is all MX. So Topri boards, you can only buy them from certain brands. Topri boards are gonna be Real Force, PFU Fujitsu, so for HHKB. Uh, PFU Fujitsu also owns Real Force. Um, and uh, Leopold. Pro 1 domes are so scarce. I mean, Pro 1s are just old. Like, HHKB Pro 1s are old. Like this board is back from 2003. Wait, it's not focusing. Oh. Look at that, 2003 October. So this board officially as of today is 17 years old. This board might be older than some of you. For how old this pro is, uh, it sure is white. Yeah, you want to see a yellow one? Let me show you a real yellow board. OK. 
Okay, buddy. Okay. Gosh, these motorcyclists, like, are crazy. Compare this to this. Check this out. Why is he turning back? It's a one-way street. What the hell? What's wrong with people? Yeah, these are my two Pro 1 HKBs. He has- he must have a huge wiener to drive that fast. I know, gotta go fast. So badass, dude. Can't navigate. <laughs> he wants to race me? I'm lightning though. There's no point in racing me. I'm gonna win anyway. You know? So is that a vintage keyboard now? Yeah, these are vintage Tokyo boards basically. These are older than some of people people might who might be watching this stream. I, sh I really should enable uh, my st my stream is for mature audiences. Who knows if kids might be watching at this late hour? <laughs> just kidding. I don't. I don't really mind. Just don't be. Don't be irresponsible. All right. He just saw this Sonic the Hedgehog movie, and he's just like vroom vroom. <laughs> Gotta go fast. Maybe hitting that yes I'm over 18 button anyway? Exactly. <laughs> it doesn't even matter. <laughs> but you know, it's liability for me, right? If they if they if 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 someone's like, oh my kid was washing that lightning keyboards, dude. He's he's a spawn of the devil. He was teaching my child obscene things. And then I get sued, and next thing you know is Twitch is like, Hey, so Lightning, um, we were checking your um, Twitch uh, um, stream settings, and we found out that you didn't have the uh, over 18 button enabled, and I'm, not, I'm afraid that we must, um, you must liquidate your entire collection to be able to um, pay for this lawsuit. What year were you born? Uh, 1956. <laughs> um, but yeah, I live in New York City though. I live in the New York, New York area. So, anyway. Uh, I just think we can just go ahead and put all the switches in and just solder after all that is done. I don't think we have to wait to do one by one here today. It should be a very, very fast build today. We're just chilling. Maybe should do 55 just to be safe. <laughs> I had my Facebook date of birth set as 1903 for a long time. Oh my god. But wait, why? Just cause or because I know that uh so back when Facebook first started, for those who might not remember, um uh, when Facebook first started it was only for college students, because it was made by, you know, Mark Zuckerberg when he was at Harvard. And it was only for, it was basically only like a referral sort of base system. Like you could only get invited if like someone who first had been, been invited by Mark and team uh, were on Facebook. So you couldn't just get onto Facebook and log in. And so you also had, there was an age requirement too. You, can't, you couldn't just like um, get a Facebook account. All the ads you get on Facebook are probably like ED pills and boomer shit. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh. Yeah, we 
we get a lot of uh, loud drivers around here, Ellie. But I'm old. I mean, not that old. I actually got super relevant ads at the time. I mean, they probably can tell based on your other browsing, like um, history. It's not like it's not. I mean, you know, the real spawn of the devil here is really like. Like Google and Facebook obviously like own so much information. It's like privacy is like a joke at this point. Almost 35, bruh. It's not that bad. Uh, you're about my brother's age, actually. So you might as well be like my older brother. Yeah, our age gap is not that bad. I don't know. I don't know, man. 30s is the new, th yeah, 40s is the new 30s, and 30s is the new 20s. I think. So uh, people, people succeed in life uh, at an older age too, on average. People think people think they can retire at like 35, but it's like the reality is like people, people tend to succeed in their mid late 40s. I think is what I heard on average. It's like very successful people tend to succeed much later in life. 31 over here, 30 gang, unite. Nice. I mean, I'm 27, but yeah. I bought a new glass online and all the ads were just that brand of glass for weeks. Damn. Jeez. Yeah, privacy's a joke. Alright, now we can get the fan, because, yeah, this time we might need it. I'm not going to turn on RTX voice, so you're just going to have to bear with it. I'm just going to maybe put the mic a little bit this way. You won't hear it. Actually, let me turn it on after the soldering iron is heated up. Once it passed 25, I started to feel old, as in my metabolism began slowing down. My metabolism is still fine, surprisingly, which is rare um i actually expected it to really go downhill much earlier but my metabolism has been okay i, I also feel like maybe it's because i'm i don't know am i eating enough i think i'm eating enough but yeah um. I used to think I never had to watch what I was eating and now I'm conscious of it every day. Yeah. yeah I feel that. Yo, Donkaruru. Thank you so much for the tier one sub. Thank you, thank you. I say this as I'm drinking a can of Monster. <laughs> I actually don't really like um, energy drinks. I'm not really into them. For some reason, it just doesn't. I don't know. I guess it just doesn't jive with me. I guess I never enjoyed the flavor so much. Yeah. All right. Turn it. Time to turn on the fan. I don't either, but my name is Kyle, so I feel more <laughs> obligated to. <laughs> uh.
Huh? Made the mistake of breeding that shit in the other day without a fan? <laughs> oh no. I mean, nothing will happen in the... Like, if it, this is like long exposure that's harmful, right? But yeah, it's definitely not pleasant to breathe in fumes. <gasps> Yeah, this shit can make you like feel dizzy and stuff too, so it's just not very pleasant. Had a headache for a couple of hours? Damn. I live life on the edge and time my breathing to breathe out when the fumes come up. I mean, you can always just blow on it like, right? as you're soldering. So you just need to time it like... <laughs> so the fumes like go the opposite direction while you're soldering and then when you're not you just breathe normally. Caster has the best fumes. I see you've done your fair share of soldering. You're damn fast at it. Yeah, I've been doing. I mean, I've, I've, like, the first time I ever soldered was maybe like six years ago, seven years ago. So yeah, been doing soldering for a while. Back when I first started soldering though, my joints were shit. It was so awful. Lightning is pro solder, did you know? He plays second in nationals. What? Imagine if there were even a competition like that. I mean, this is like through hole soldering too. Like, through hole soldering is so easy. And if you have enough flux, you can do, you can do like drag soldering super easily. Well, relatively easy. Kester smelled better. Than the cheap solder than I used to start in like when I used to start the hobby, in the hobby, I guess so. The materials should be like sort of like cleaner, in the sense that like it doesn't have all these weird mixes of things from like the cheaper versions. But then again, I haven't really looked into what exact composition is that differs from cheaper stuff and like premium or more commonly used stuff. You can't beat the China workers during internationals? No way. Have you seen those videos? Have you, have you guys actually seen the, the videos of uh, people soldering at factories, they pretty much solder this entire row of switches would have been already done like in one shot. Like their, their soldering iron runs really really hot and their solder melts super super fast. So it's just like they just basically drag solder this. Vroom! Vroom! Like by rows. What temp do you solder on? Uh, I, I put my uh, 
soldering iron at 350 Celsius. Should be enough for most of your soldering applications for keyboards at least. Especially if you're using like 6040 or 6337 solder. Should be enough to melt fast and at the same time not run too hot. Given the amount of time that you have to put the um, iron to heat up the pad. Um, thing is, they gotta use unleaded though, so their irons are hot. Yeah, I mean, unleaded, unleaded solder is so bad. I mean, in general, but like, I, I, I guess I get why people use it. Like, like, why they use it in factories and stuff too. Looks good. All right, let me see. Um, just catching up. Do, 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 do. Just take his advice. Just blow on it. <laughs> just turn around every breath. Tears. Oh gosh. I used some Loctite today. It's pretty nice. Woody, smoky, and a hint of bergamot. <laughs> Rite of passage. Soldering, yeah. Soldering is definitely a good skill to have. I mean, not just through hole soldering, but other things too. If you can manage to fix things. Uh, especially because there's so much electronics that we use now. Although a lot of electronics and stuff, like they're made with SMD stuff and like they're tiny, so you can't you can't do that with without a machine. Or even a microscope occasionally. Did my first cable acrobatics compared to starting a PCB? Oh yeah, cables are cables are rough. Cable you just gotta get them right the first time. Tico's got the simple iPhones. Let's see. 350, yeah, 350 is good. Um, you can do lower than 350 though. You can, you know that 6337 solder will even melt at like 200 and like 60. Like it'll melt pretty low. But keeping it a little bit hotter is much easier because that way you don't put your uh, iron like on the pad for too long and it's like not too hot either. So it's not gonna burn it off. Because uh, if you also run too hot, you can uh, oxidize the um, the alloy, which is not good for the health of the joint. Uh, Coiling the cable is what hurts my hands the most. But yeah, doing doing uh doing cables is 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 not a it's not trivial. I think it can be pretty rough. But I mean, some people are really good at it. I mean, obviously that's why we have a lot of cable makers. I think the barrier of entry for cable making is actually pretty, is fairly low, uh, which is why a lot of people do it. Doesn't mean every cable maker out there is gonna be really good though. So just something to consider. Cause I've definitely had cables that broke, not broke, but like stopped functioning pretty early because the, I assume the, joints would um not work uh, like either short or would break off because uh, they didn't do a very secure job for those or um also when um what should i call it um uh, what was i gonna say i forgot what i was gonna say i was about to say something Oh, or like when you bend a little bit of the cable part, like at the ends, uh, they can break easily. But I mean, there's ways to make sure that that doesn't happen, even if you did. Like some people put like uh, heat shrink around stuff, so it doesn't like so that doesn't happen. Yeah, I have a different cable here. Okay. 
I'm gonna try to see if I can get one for Diego. Wait, get one what? Cables? Many countries don't allow so lead solder in electronics to prevent lead sickness. Yeah, that's true. But you know that the most common cause of lead poisoning is actually paint? It's not even solder stuff. Like, like lead and solder related stuff. It's actually paint that causes the most lead poisoning in the world. But of course it's a problem. I mean, of course it's a pol like pollutant, so it's not good. Too lazy to plug in my TS-80 into a wall, so it's in my PC, it only gets around 250 and it works fine. Yeah. How bad is Milmax compared to normal soldering or cables? Oh, Milmax is pain. Uh, Milmax just sucks because um, the solder can get into the, into the little sockets if you're not careful. You just have to be uh, slow and, and, and you just have to go slowly and carefully. But you can use any thickness for solder and you can just uh, make it work. But yeah, just, just just as long as you're careful, it should be fine. Oh wait, this doesn't have the the testing thing anyway. Okay, I can just test it like this. All right, cool. Seems to work. Oh yeah, Diego, I work at Space Cables. I'm trying to see if I can get you one. Oh, cool. Space Cables, huh? Isn't Space Cables hella popular in the in the tech community? Cuz uh who was it? There were a bunch of there are some tech tubers that got Space Cables and it got really popular. Space cables is huge, I think. They do be kind of great. Yeah, I've heard really good things about uh, space cables overall. But I've also heard that it was because there was a there's a time when they got featured in a lot of the tech tube stuff. Bad seed, BT, random fang feet. Yeah, that's quite a quite a quite the names. Quite the names. Alright, we're done um soldering actually. And we're done testing, so we're just gonna screw this in that was super fast it's good all right i haven't had a space cable though i think the reason i never got one is because maybe when they were they became big i never needed one and then second because um yeah I, i'm trying not to get too many cables too try to stick to the ones i have Oh, and then lead times, yeah. Lead times always concern me too, to some extent. I'll see if I can get you one anyway. Okay, I mean, I'll use it, you know. I do use, like, all my cables for one reason or another. Managed to snag a matte black aviator on a lime green tech flex. That's a that's a really nice color combo, like kind of terminal esque. That's a nice color combination, though. That's a good one. I'll DM you about it. Sounds good. Just bought a second set of Kuroshiro, and I need to sell the first set. Wait, why didn't you? Why do you get the second set for if you already have one? What is the purpose of TechFlex? Isn't TechFlex just to uh, protect the paracord as well as to provide that bit of like... Yeah. It's mostly to protect the paracord though.
looks like seams are not showing anymore. That's good. All right, we're done assembling this. I wonder what it's gonna sound like, if it's gonna sound any different, but hey. Ooh, does, does feel a lot flexible though. Let's see. I do have a new artisan I want to put on this. Where is it? I need to find it. Here it is. Da -da -da. I got this new Hungerwork Studio Meat Popsy Skull that matches Honeywell. It's called Well Done, the colorway. Alright. How was it? 160 build before the rebuild? It was exactly the same except for aluminum plate. I'm just basically switching from aluminum plate to polycarb. I didn't record a video specifically because uh, it was a bit too late, but um, by the time I decided, but it's okay. Uh, I mean, I, I, I'm just doing it for myself. Pseudo Llama, hello. Let's see. Debating getting a polycarp plate for my 8x, but I'm not sure if I would like it. Why is that? What what kind of plate do you have now? QWRTY. Say no, I'm not gonna say that word. That word sucks. The default brass? I mean, there's nothing wrong with brass, personally. It's a bit stiff, but actually, it's not even that stiff, actually. Not on the, not on the, it's not that bad. It's not like the end of the world, either. Definitely sounds kind of deeper, huh? We'll see. It's still too early to tell. I like it more if I had Zelios or Holy Pandas. Oh, I see. Uh, I feel like the FR4 plate would be a good substitute uh, if you don't want to get the, um, the the polycarp one. Because if you already have it, you know, you, could, you might as well try to use it. Try to see what, what you like. Don't you think? Wait, 9, 0, okay. Gonna sound, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna like the sound of this polycarb a little bit more. I think I'm, I think I'm hearing a bit of the hollowness of the, of not having a plate in the middle, and it's sounding a little bit less high pitched, which I, I might like. We'll see. We'll see. It's really nice and flexible. Ooh. Ooh, I'm really liking how this is flexing. Okay. Ooh. 
<laughs> oh, Leona, what's up? Oh my gosh, it's been a while. How are you doing? How's life? It's been forever. How do you how do you know I was here? How do you find me? Anyone have opinions on the E8.5? It's a good it's a good keyboard. I really like it. But um, I would have preferred trying a different plate and a different setup for the one I built. But uh, I I did enjoy it. Yeah, it's been a while. Gee, yeah, life is fun like that. Your Discord said you were streaming. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, my Discord status probably says that. True, true, true. Yeah, so I do this uh, every every so often. <laughs> Had to check out the keyboard god is streaming. Yeah, I've been doing it for a while now. I I, I totally forgot that when we first uh, when we first met, it was it was I was still into key I was just getting into keyboards really really heavily, and then and then it only and it kept spiraling down from there anyway. So what stabs do you use? Uh, I used the um, cherry cherry uh, clippins cherry clippin stabs. Yeah. Alright, let's try this. Come to join you when I buy a gaming computer. Right now I have an application due, so I gotta get back into writing, but I can't wait to watch information. Educational keyboard streams, sounds good. Thank you so much for stopping by. Um, good luck with your app. Uh, let's let's catch up sometime, Fiona. It's been a while. But yeah, take it easy. Okay. So let's see what we got here. Where's my typing test I just had open? Hey. <laughs> All right. No party neighbors tonight. And not so bad. Uh, maybe not yet, because last night they were up to like three a.m. So something like that. <clears throat> All right. So we got the same build as earlier. Uh, so this time it's gonna be retool blacks thirty-two of four. Uh. Polycarp half plate uh, instead of an aluminum plate. Um, so let's see what this sounds like, shall we? Mistakes, but it sounds pretty good. It's sounding really good.
Yeah, the thock of the space bar. The halfway is the way. Halfway is it's sounding really good. Let's try again. Much better. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, on this board, I have to say, on this specifically, on this board specifically, this half plate sounding so lit. It's this sounds really nice. Um, I'm really liking it. Um, I really like that the alpha sound a lot like yeah a lot clackier but more importantly like a lot more like there's just a lot more roomy sound to them it's like roomy there's a lot more like space to the to the sound I, I really like this What app widget is that for the words per minute? Uh, it's uh, this is a monkey dash type dot com. Show flex? Sure. Let me see how I can show that properly. How do you like the feel compared to before? I actually like it more. I like I like it better compared to earlier. Yeah, I like it better. Is that Honeywell? Yeah. So let's see. How can I show this? Like this? How do I show this? Um, like, I mean, edges might be more apparent, obviously. Like, you can see a little bit of that sinking on the edges edges are easier just to see that though because that's where the that's where the mount it's like sinking at the corners but maybe closer to the middle though like that's the edge of the plate um it's not like super noticeable but like it's there it's very slight i don't mind it though uh the overall um feeling though is kind of soft so like when i just bottom out normally though. It's a very nice. It's a very nice feeling. It's just like nice and soft. It's just easy to type on. That's what it basically what it is. Flex is definitely not a deal breaker. Yeah, it, it, it never is. It never really is. Uh, it's just a matter of whether it feels stiff or not. Uh, that's the only difference. But yeah, um, 160, the white red, personally, my favorite combination uh, from all of the different versions that are out there. This is why I picked this one because I did want to match it with Honeywell. Um, and like Honeywell is my all, one of my all time favorite sets. Um, and I just wanted to match it really badly like this. So yeah.
Anyway, this is what it looks like. And, you know, this is the front. Nice and almost like you can barely see the seam. It's not really visible at all. Um, that's the side. The back. The back looks just so clean. Um, come on. The Kegel logo here is... Uh, it's, it's, I like this detail. And yeah, this E-White came out very, very clean for what it's worth. Uh, people have always talked about how um, E-White can look a bit like dirty or whatever. But uh, this in particular came out excellent. And the red is a nice red. I like this color. It really pops. So yeah, overall I'm very happy with it. I think the Honeywell red here is a bit brighter than the red of the plate, but it, it makes a nice contrast, so I like it because one's like metallic and one's like more resin or plastic. Yeah, so I dig it a lot. Anyway, that's the build. But um, I have other exciting things maybe I can show you. Uh, let me see. Well, we can, I don't know, we can program my, my Rama. M10 here. I don't know. Do so many things. But otherwise, I mean, I, I could probably end it here too. Let's see what, what, what I can do here. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see. Let's play some music first, I guess. Dun, dun, dun. Do you have any other transformer looking artisans? Uh, you mean like robots? I have other robots, yeah. I don't see. I have a few. Uh, I need to go look for them. Show all your robots? <laughs> Hold up. Let me go find them. I'll be right back. found some um, so these are some of the ones I have uh, so this is Topper so you can see it's Topper stem so so okay let me show you the history of Brobots is that this is the Brobot V1 it's pretty much a direct copy of uh, like an Optimus Prime like you know figure are the Brobots rare some of them are some of them aren't uh, so it pretty much depends on the colorway and the style. Oops. Uh, yeah, it depends. Um, so... Yeah, just some of them are older. Yeah, so they're harder to find. So the Brobots V1 were basically just like direct copies like this. Uh, sculpted on a cat. Or maybe it was like, like molded even out of it. But you can see where the GMK cap sprues are. You can see like it's pretty much a GMK butt of a, it looks like it's like an R4 keycap where it was molded on. Um, so yeah, uh, the old robots were this one. This is a V1. And then the V2s were like this. The V2s, this is a V2 robot. Um, so V2 robots have this bro stamp on the back here and have a square stem like like this. Yeah, bro, and then yeah, square stem. And you can start noticing that there's some differences um, between, so this is the Brobot BVV 2.5. There's some key differences between 2.5 and the two. 
uh, mainly in that the eyes are a bit longer on the V2.5. Uh, the chin is a little bit different too, uh, like the cutting part of the chin area. Um, yeah, overall proportions are slightly different. This one does not have the bro like letter stamp. It has a bro fist stamp, the logo for bro caps, and a TMX stamp, which is Topri and MX compatible. I feel like I'm weird for only liking Arama and Salvinars. It's not, you're not weird. Everyone has their own preferences. I I like artisans because I appreciate the craft and behind them. Like this one's kind of cool. This green one over here. There's a BBB 2.5. But if you do a UV light on it, oh wait, it's, how do I how do I show this? But you can see that there is some glow in the dark going on there. Yeah. And this is uh, what people would call Brobot V3, but it's called a Vindicator. Uh, similar to the Brobot V2.5, but has these extra details. Kind of make it more like more, more like cyborg-like kind of, or actually I don't even know how to explain it. More like machine-like, I don't know. Yep. Those are Brobots for you. How much is this board on MM? I can't remember. You mean the Key Cult number one? 60? Uh, it's it's gonna... Key Cult 160 is gonna cost quite a bit on MM. I think like... How much do they go for? Like one point some K? Probably. Is Brobot your favorite artisan sculpt? No, it's not my favorite. I mean, well, it's I like it a lot. Among, among bro cap sculpts, it's probably my favorite artisan sculpt. Uh, but among like other artisans, I like I like other artisans too though. Like I like other sculpts as well. I like all kinds of sculpts. I mean, I collect pretty widely. What is the artisan on the escape? Can you show it closer? Yeah, sure. So this 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 keycap is made by Hungerwork Studio. And it's called the Meat Popsy Skull. The reason it's called Meat Popsy Skull is like meat. It's like a play on Meat Popsicle. <laughs> um, but it's because it's like a popsicle. It's like a melting popsicle. Um, and basically, it's the skull encapsulated inside of this other part. So there's a two part mold system. And um, it has these cool details that look like it's like melting, make it look like it's like melting. Um, sorry, but yeah, it has a little hand here. It's like you're high-fiving it. Pretty comfy to press actually. Um, let me see if I can take it off and show you more details of it. Uh, I can show you an Easter egg uh, on it. I'll just use the puller. Sometimes they're kind of loose, sometimes they're not. I'm not sure if you guys, uh, this one's not super crisp, but, but this is the Easter egg. The Easter egg is that the butt, the part of the, the bottom here, that shape there is just like the clack skull. So if you want to look at a clack skull, oh, so this is a clack skull. So it's an homage to the shape of the clack skull. Like that. Too bad Jeff Leopard is not here because this would be his favorite time of the stream. Talking about miniature figurines. No clue how Binge puts in that amount of detail? I mean, he's an, he's an artist. This is what they do. I mean, if you want to talk about other detailed skulls, like we can talk about like, like gaff caps, right? So like, people have talked about it a lot too, but There's a good that one, this one, good one to demonstrate it in. Like Grimace V2, right? So this is Grimace V2 by Gaff Caps. And look at the amount of detail he packs in there. And it's all very cleanly sculpted, and it's symmetrical too. Yeah, 
Yeah. So it's it's interesting. Like uh, I mean, the reason you get to appreciate artisans, at least in my opinion, is that you get to appreciate how much work goes into this stuff. Um, in sculpting and in casting and in making interesting colorways, among other things. So for me, it really is not about making copies of characters that are popular in media, or you know, like bringing in like literary inspirations from other art. Um, it's for me, it's about the creative work that goes into them, right? It's about it's about how much, it's about what kind of new creations they make. <clears throat> There's like cool artisans, but yeah, there's a lot of cool artisans. Um, where do you get a photorealistic sculpt of my wife when she finds out I bought it? Ah, man, true. Yeah. Uh... Anyway, I just got an email from Project Keyboard about GMK Noir. Oh yeah, I, I did forget to talk about some sponsors, but today I just wanted to keep it chill, so I didn't even bother doing that. Um, but like, you know, you know my sponsors, just do exclamation sponsors and you can, uh, you know, if you do exclamation sponsors, you can get all my affiliate links, but Canon Keys, uh, should have currently, uh, GMK Red Dragon and a few Deathmat designs by Sour and Anna Lisa. Uh, Dixie Mech should have SA Dual Shot. Uh, Mint Autumn is still working on fulfilling the Rukia and she'll have, should have the Irma TKL later on. I um, mean, it's currently in development. It's going to be made out of polyethylene. Novel Keys has, there's a promo code for 5% off for any in stock product. And there's like Space Cut at 2 and uh, other group buys. And then Prime KB has a bunch of keyboard supplies, switches, switch openers, loop stations, you name it, stabilizers, springs. And then Project Keyboard is opening um, GMK Noir tonight. So starting tomorrow or tonight. We have Jim K. Noir. Wasn't trying to bring up Shield Time, but just excited about Noir. It's okay. I mean, Shield Time is necessary too, though. I mean, this 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 stream is supported by by our wonderful and generous sponsors. Who I should shill every so often, so I, I I made sure to do that, you know, because otherwise, you know, be screwed. Netflix and shill, Twitch and shill, Twitch TV and shill, Lightning Lightning keyboards and shill. Yeah, that's that's my life. That's my life, my friends. Let's see, maybe I can do. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's all I got for now, but you know, let's see if anybody's streaming right now. We can go and raid some someone else. Uh, but yeah, that was a nice and chill stream for tonight. I have some other stuff prepped. Um, for future streams, I, I'm not sure if you guys can see, but oh, never mind. Over there in the back, I have a bunch of boxes I'm sending out. So a bunch of boards will be going out this week. Um, I'll hydrate for sure. Um, and I have some new boards coming in. Or well, I actually already have them here, but I need to prep a bunch of stuff. So some exciting stuff coming soon. I have, let's see, we have in the pipeline, as I said yesterday, we should have one, two, three high-end builds coming soon. And then there should be a few more. What's up, Diego and friends? Did I miss a stream? Yeah, you're coming in a little late, but we're about to be actually be finished. That your alien is on. Oh yeah, we could, uh, we could, um, we could raid Mecha. Uh, I think, I think that would be, that would be fun. Spill the special one. You guys want to? You guys want to get a tease of the special build? Are you guys sure about that? Ah, do I do it? No, 
Nope, don't do it. Give leak. Mm. Mm. Okay, one of the next builds is gonna have some cool switches that look like. Not focus. Done. But yeah. Some cool looking expensive switches. And then some equally expensive keyboards. <laughs> but yeah, it'll be it'll be fun. It'll be fun times. And uh okay. I could I could I could I could uh, spill some more, maybe. Okay, let's see. You harvest them yourself? Yes, I I um, painstakingly harvested them, inhaled a lot of solder fumes, and you know, all that good stuff. Oh, you guys can't see it yet. Can you see that? I'm not sure. Maybe it was too dark. Maybe not. Gather on blacks. Pepper hands. It's a Canicles cloth. It is a Canicles cloth. I think. I think you're right. Well, you can see the PCB over there. Alrighty. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Okay. There's that, and there's there's actually a more. I think I think there's another board that I I'm pretty excited about, but I do have to do some prep work for it. But yeah, that'll be fun. Isn't that Diego Teal? <laughs> That'll be fun, huh? Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see if who's streaming. Let's see. Latrium. I think I heard. Yep. And then... Okay. Are those client builds? Uh, yeah. Most of them, or pretty much all of them, should be client builds. I don't think I have anything new coming in yet. I have a few exciting things for myself coming in. Well, not necessarily myself, but like kind of like collab sort of stuff um, that some people actually might know about already, but it just isn't ready. Um, so that's just a waiting game for the most part. So we'll see. We'll see when that's done. Uh, but yeah, other new boards to come to the scene in the future. Exciting stuff coming in? Yeah. I think so. I think it will be an exciting time. Alrighty. Let's um let's go raid uh Latrielum. But yeah, everyone, thank you so much for stopping by tonight. Thank you to Apiary. Um if she's I don't think she's here anymore, but thank you to Apiary for being a super awesome person and hooking it up with some pizza <laughs> and a raid. Um, and thank you all for, for joining in on this chill time. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reconfigure this guy. I'm so happy that this actually works now. Guys, this guy has been sitting as a paperweight for like two and a half years. Or like two years. I don't even know. It's been a paperweight. It's been an artisan holder for a long time. I pretty much only use it for pictures, but it doesn't work. It didn't work for a long time. Finally. I waited eight months for this PCB. I ordered this PCB like in yeah, like in February and then just got it today. So <laughs> pretty happy about it. And I'm glad it just works right out of the box. It's so easy to use now. Maybe this will be like a stream deck. I'll put like cool cool little things on it. Cool transitions. I I don't know how to I don't know how to do those though, but we'll see. Or maybe like photo editing things. 
What was wrong with the M10? Uh, it just didn't work. Uh, let me show you that. There is a PCB that just didn't work. There is this old, good old PCB. Uh, it just didn't work. No stab for the 2U either. Oh my gosh. Anyway. I want an M6. I hope they do another run of them this year. I hope so too. I, I, I have a feeling they will do another run at some point. Probably just not now, but yeah, I think they'll do a run soonish. They've done so many. My M10 sits on the shelf. You should definitely get a M10C PCB. This this fits every version of the M10. And this is an M10A, this is the first one. Yeah. I've had it for so long. <laughs> but yeah. I'm just so glad that my 2U cab is finally not crooked. Oh gosh. Anyway. Oh yeah, that's right. Did this even I, this had PCB holes, but still. It was not it was like a little loose too. Alright, let's go raid a Mika. I do appreciate everyone's company tonight. And I hope you'll have fun. Uh, Meika, uh, she builds every often, every so often, but she, but she will also be playing games. Uh, she's currently playing Genshin Impact, uh, which apparently is kind of getting popular now. Um, it's kind of like Breath in the Wild like. And then um, she occasionally talks about resin casting. If you're interested in her work, uh, her she goes by Latri Alum. Um, her work is pretty popular in the community right now. Uh, does a lot of collabs with uh, Keyset designers as well as like other people um so yeah just do check out her work she's on instagram and on reddit um yeah um i'll show up with cool builds on uh, the next time i stream i don't know when that's gonna be um probably not tomorrow I'm not, i don't think i'm ready for it uh probably going to be during the week during the week not sure if monday though because yeah monday i have some I have some work yeah Okay, so yeah, either it's gonna be sometime like maybe like either Monday night or Tuesday night. Yeah, we'll see. But, all right, thank you everybody. Have a good time. Have a good night. I'll see you guys next time. All right, let's go.